It's race day once again, and we're moments away from lights out and the all-important sprint towards turn one. Welcome to another Formula One Grand Prix. It's one of the shortest laps on the calendar today then, with seven rights and just three lefts, making up the ten corners of this high-speed circuit. Turn two is barely a corner at all. They'll be flat out through there, a left-hand kink into the uphill braking zone of turn three. Turns one, three and four are all potential opportunities to overtake. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of Turn 1. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position. Just edging out Alexander Olbon, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Hamilton, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Verstappen, Sainz, Ocon, Stroll and Daniel Ricciardo, Grosjean, Norris, Sergio Perez and Magnussen, Raikkonen, Gasly, George Russell, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Latifi and Daniel Kvyat completes the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today?
is 3.5 seconds. Okay, gap ahead is 2.7 seconds. You are currently in P3. Hamilton ahead. Gap to car in front is 2.7 seconds. They're on fresh softs. Albon is behind you. Less than a second separate you. They're on fresh softs. The gap to the leader is 2.8 seconds. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap. That's a fantastic podium. Super driving, really strong pace. Very, very happy. A fantastic team effort to secure victory here in the Styrian Alps. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it? Smooth, confident and assured. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the moon with his performance today. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one.